So my name is Don Tran. I started Deep End Fitness program with Prime right here back when we were in the military together um, as we were training for Marine Special Operations. So uh, my goals out of today is to get you a good session. I've been wanting to get you in the pool for a long time. Um, and I know you're a confident swimmer, right? So, so I know you're gonna crush it. So I wanna see you do that and we're gonna help you in that process of getting you there today. So we'll go to you next, brother. Uh, my name is Bart. Um, I used to swim competitively in seventh and eighth grade. <laughs> And so, pretty much one of the best that you're going to see ever in the world. And today I can't wait to learn a new different type of swimming and just aquatic fitness in general from two badasses. Awesome. All right, next to Prime. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> bro, I'm stoked uh, to get you in the pool, get you a good session. It's really going to showcase what we do because you're obviously a uh, fit, you know, weightlifter. And so we, we come from that same background. So we're gonna teach you all of the methods to have the best performance you can, even with that negative buoyancy, that thick build. So, um, and that's what we're working from too. So if we were, if we had like, you know, sweet little bodies that just, you know, <laughs> went through the water perfectly like fish, then that'd be a different thing. But we're coming from the same problems that you got. So we're gonna show you how to work through that and get into a flow. Cool, everything that we're gonna do is around the acronym FREE, focus, relaxation, economy, emotion, efficient breathing, and it's all about how we can add more flow, less drag with everything that we're doing, cool? All right, my name's Albert. Uh, I'm a deep end fitness tier one instructor. Most of my training in the water came from the Marine Corps. Uh, what I expect out of today is just to push past another mental barrier, you know, setting goals for yourself and really getting past what's going on in this world and really trying to be resilient and be relentless into trying to pursue past my goals. And, you know, we get, I was fortunate enough to uh, train with a lot, a lot of different athletes that, you know, from UFC fighters to professional football players to, you know, all types of athletes. And when we get in the water, it elicits a different kind of stress factor, some different type of adversity. And, you know, it's cool just to kind of push past what you really think you can't really accomplish. And these guys do it best. Oh yeah, all right guys, so we're gonna do a quick breathing warm up, right? So we're gonna do upper regulation breathing. So everybody peek out your noses a little bit. So we're gonna do a fast inhale through our nose and a fast exhale through our mouth for 30 seconds, okay? You should feel a little lightheadedness at the end, that's okay. That's just, we're gonna clear our sinuses, get everything ready, get our lungs ready to go, okay? Can you do one so I know what to do? Yeah, so it looks like this. Okay. All right, for 30 seconds. Ready, and begin. Blow it out, hard. Okay, so we're gonna slow our breathing patterns back down. Back slow our heart slow. rate. Yeah, slow our heart rate back down a little bit. We're gonna do it today. We're gonna do a box breathing method. Okay, so we're gonna do a four second inhale through our nose, a four second pause up top, four second exhale through our mouth, and a four second pause on the bottom. So do that for four rounds together. Do it with me. Ready and begin. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Repeat. feel nice and relaxed after that. I'm gonna need a lifeguard. <laughs> There's one right there. We're all lifeguard, uh, CPR, AD, qualified, okay. we got you. All right. Yeah. She doesn't look ready though. All right, so next we're gonna show you you can do a little bit of work um, while you're holding your breath, okay? So we're gonna do a quick burpee breathing ladder. So we're gonna take one full diaphragmic breath. So all the breaths today, we're gonna talk about um, our diaphragmic breath, okay? So we're gonna pull the, all that oxygen from the bottom of our stomach uh, until we fill up our lungs, until our chest rises a little bit, okay? So all the breaths we take today, we wanna take uh, at least a five second 
full diaphragmic breath coming in, right? So when we belly breathe or diaphragmic breathe, uh, it really promotes calmness and creativity and shallow chest breathing really promotes uh, anxiety and stress. So we don't want that today, especially when we're going on the water. So we want to take nice full diaphragmic breaths, okay? So we're gonna take a full diaphragmic breath coming in. So like a four or five second breath coming in. We're gonna drop down or hold our breath, drop down and do one burpee. We're gonna stand back up. We got a recovery going on. Hold our breath, two burpees. Stand up, recover, three, hold our breath, three burpees, four burpees, five burpees. And we'll try to do six today for you, bro. Thank you. Here we go, so one full breath coming in. Hold and down. That's pretty easy. Two and in. <laughs> What up guys, I'm here with Don and Prime, both of the owners of Deep End Fitness. They're both former Marine Special Operations guys and they are gurus in the water. What is this training called Deep End Fitness? It's because we like to take the principles of free, which is focus, relaxation, economy of motion, and efficient breathing, and apply it into the deep end of the pool. Um, and in life, of course, but uh, yeah. So the principles come from Hey, how do you efficiently go underwater, remain calm as much as possible by taking a good deep breath and efficiently move through the water? So it sounds like pretty much if you can get the fuck thrashed out of you in the pool and if you don't drown, then you can also be peaceful in life. Yeah, you yes. learn how to stay relaxed in the stressful situations and the pool is a controlled environment, but there's a lot of growth that can be had, especially when we go underwater. So that's usually what, how, we're, how we get the most growth out of our athletes. We're excited to take part through around today. What's the game plan for today? So we just did a little bit of warm ups and breathing exercises on land and we're going in the water and run Bart through the deep end fitness screener and make sure he's able to do the workout and then we're gonna finish it off with a quick relay at the end to kind of test all those skills and put everything into play. So the screener is just to see if I'm even ready for this shit? Yeah. And what if I fail the screen? I go you home? You won't fail it. We'll help, we'll help you out. Yeah. Uh, so we, we have, remediate. Yeah, we have a lot of athletes that come that don't swim whatsoever and we get them through the screen in the first day. Yeah. What? Yeah, so no pressure, but uh, yeah. it'll be all right, man. Let's start off with uh, some static breath holds to see how long you can hold your breath for underwater. Um, so we'll do 15 seconds, um, and every single 15 seconds you hear a quick buzzer, just like that. Okay, so when we go for 30, you'll hear one at 15 and one at 30. So I just hold as long as I can, and if I... We're just gonna do it for 15 seconds, so 15 seconds come up. Oh. Nice and relaxed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. these weights are gonna be for you to hold yourself to the bottom. Make sure you equalize on the way down, just okay. like we're, when we're diving. So every three to six feet would be yeah. good. Okay. Um, equalize and come down. Okay. Cool. Just so, I always feel like I'm like pretty comfortable in the water, you know? But that's because I'm doing my own shit all the time. Floating around, fucking squirting water out of my mouth. The fact that I gotta like swim one length with one breath seems difficult. And um, I have to carry this 15 pound brick across this pool seems really difficult so i'm just like i think just by knowing that my anxiety is like uh oh but this, that's the whole point of this where the training is if you can get comfortable in the uncomfortable yeah. then when it's comfortable you're more comfortable so we just jump inside of the pool we're not, not, not doing anything crazy yet uh, but the weights are for you to keep help keep you down so you don't stay afloat and then after 15 seconds i just come up with you come up yeah. okay. I'm just gonna jump in right now. Okay. Are you jumping with them? Alright, let's do it. Good. Alright. So we talked about those full diaphragmic breaths before we go back underwater. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna take that five second. I'll give you a five second warning, and then we're gonna go hold it down for 15 seconds, okay? Okay. Alright. We'll go in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one.
Fuck, that felt like a long time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, what the <laughs> fuck? Dude, I felt like I needed my asthma inhaler. <laughs> okay, it's those so. little mental tricks. That's why we were passing the torpedo to you. Yeah. So that if you put your focus. object of your focus not on the fact that you need air, but on the torpedo or Don or something else. Cool? Right. Got it. So another tool that we use is like, hey, completely putting your mind off of it. So for me, I put a song in my head. Uh, I just listen to a song in my head, like a, it's like a playlist or something like that. But my song is like Oasis Wonderwall. And that's just my song underwater. I don't even know any lyrics to songs, dude. Just hum it. Okay. All right, next one to go for 30 seconds. Count, we've all counted in our heads to five millions of times. Yeah. So you just slow count to five over and over again to pass the time or whatever to put your focus on it, okay. right? All right, we're going in 10 seconds. We're going to try for 30. <clears throat> Two, one. You can leave the brick down there and just pick it up when you go down. Oh, that's smarter. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Easy, dude. Ah. And the easiest way to get down is like a pencil dive. So we do like a reverse jumping jack. So you just pencil dive your body, go straight up and down. All you're doing is clapping above your head with both hands okay. above your head and you go right down to the bottom. Dude, Chilling? Stand down for over 30. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. It's okay. pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> Now we get your heart rate back to 100%, we'll do one more and we'll do it at max. So let's try to set a goal for yourself. Okay. Let's try a minute. Yeah. I'll try a minute, yeah. If you try a minute though, uh, just relax your body, don't even move it. Just hold onto that brick. Just kind of chill out. What if someone throws a torpedo at me? I mean, it's up to you, man. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but basically you just saying keep it relaxed as possible. Okay. And we got you, so. Okay. Max it out. Four, three, two, one. Oh. It was too hard. Oh, it's too hard. Oh. Okay, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. What was it? No, that was out of that was like 45. A, I'll do but it again. you dumped your air. Don't dump your air. Hold it. The whole time. No yeah. bubbles. And if you have that I'll do it really time. urgency to breathe, yeah. just burp it out. A tiny breath out. Because then what happens if you dump your air? You lose all your oxygen. Yeah. Hey, I'll do so, it one more time. I'll do it one more time. Yeah, yeah so start start just doing your deep inhale, deep exhales, get back to a, your heart rate at hundred percent. Yeah. And when you got to 45, I was starting to get it. I was trying to get in your in your zone so I could be like, just waste 15 seconds of your time, get you to a minute. Or you can, you see that the blue tiles, you can count those tiles to keep your mind busy. You can watch these people swim. You can think about when we were, when we were doing those burpees because we're not having to do work, we're just relax. Well, yeah. heart rate control is extremely important. So if you stress yourself out down there, your heart rate starts pumping faster, you start burning more oxygen. So that's why we say, hey, focus on something else. Get your mind off of it to keep that heart rate down as possible. I was thinking about your song, and I was like, oh, fuck, I don't know this song. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> then my heart started right there. Going. You got this.
Oh fuck. This is crazy. <gasps> Almost bro. I felt <laughs> pee oh, coming out of the tip of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I felt pee coming out of the tip of my dick and I'm like, oh shit. You made it to like 48 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh. oh fuck, that's crazy. That's a first. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna do it again. Last one. Okay, you last got this. one. Hey, you got this. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, bro! I was trying to give you a countdown, but your eyes were closed, bro. <laughs> Do you I, just, I just felt like tingly in my calves and my toes, and I'm like, <laughs> if this is the end, fuck it. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh shit! Did you know nice it was? Uh, it, did you know it was over? Or you just came up because you're like, fuck it. Oh, I heard the last one. Nice. <laughs> uh. All right, so like we said before, we're gonna break it down to our leg action, arm action, body position, and glide. So this one, the glide is extremely important. Okay. So we're gonna break it down to two position of glides. When we kick off the wall, we're gonna streamline our body as much as possible. Bring our biceps all the way up to our ears, head down, hand over hand. Just like you see a swimmer jump off their platform, to streamline their body as much as possible. So for today, we're gonna try to kick off the wall and shoot towards that third blue line in the water. See that? Yep. Cool, so without any pulls whatsoever, so that's just you kicking off the wall. Okay, get our hands past there. And the first pull and stroke that we're gonna do is what we call a keyhole stroke. So we're gonna trace an old school keyhole around here, bring down to our chest level, and coming straight down. Oh, cool. Okay, so the purpose of that is to get two pulls with one stroke, all around here, and then coming back down. So when we kick off the wall, we go our first position to glide, we do that keyhole stroke, and then we go into our second position to glide, which is like the POA, pretty much, straight up and down. From there, all we're gonna do is rotate back to that first one by doing a breaststroke kick, and then bring our hands back up to the top, okay? So we're gonna re bring our hands up, read the book, bring our legs up, bring our legs out, and then shoot everything back oh, out okay. to a streamline again, okay. so it's possible. So this brings us back into our first position to glide. So Prime's gonna do a demonstration going away, and he's also gonna do one from the back, so you're gonna see both angles of it. You gonna stay underwater the whole time? Yeah, I'm gonna go halfway across, that yeah. way you can see, oh, okay. right? Uh -huh. yeah. Go halfway and come back, yeah. okay. that way you can see the full stroke. Cool? Okay. Yep. Am I supposed to go that deep too? Yeah, so. Yeah, cause your body's negative, so you're gonna be going down. Oh, okay. Okay? I see. Yeah. So even if I aim for like, like two feet below the surface, I'm just gonna naturally. Yeah, and you wanna stay down, man, cause it's keeps, it, you're committed down at the bottom, and then you just stay down to the end, come up, push but off isn't it the harder for the lifeguards to come save me? Nah, we got you, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you'll be fine. Side, no problem. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so Albert put my pair of goggles down at the bottom of the, the pole. So now we're gonna do one full bob. We're gonna do pick up with our mouth.
Do I have to go down that slow? No. Yeah. Oh. So you just I just it. couldn't see it. Oh, you're just doing I'm just trying to find my mask. I see. <laughs> it fell out of my mouth. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Liar. Thanks That's for a screener. <laughs> screener, dog. Oh, that's a screener? Yeah, you got it. Oh, nice. You did it. Now we got to get the circuit that Don created. Oh, shit. No, let's do the jumbo walks first. So oh, that was, yeah. that's, oh, yeah. that's the basics? That's the basics. That's like the bare minimum to even like get into the program? Yeah, yeah. Damn. So there's two dumbbells there. We're just going to walk them across the bottom of the pool. All the way across? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when you went, I walked them. Oh, shit. I was walking underneath you when you did the brig toe. Okay. But it's easier than under underwater cross over, yeah. for sure. It just looks a little bit harder, but it's uh, not. So okay. all you gotta do is grab them, lean forward, and then let the weights carry you. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'll just do a quick demonstration. Out there and then back. Yeah, I'll hold on to you. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, cool, sure. Albert's gonna ride my shoulders and just hang out. Because it just looks more rad. It's okay. another, yeah. it's a, it creates another training part for the oh, person on the back. Because they're not in control, they just have to relax and hold on. Gotcha. Four dive fragments about coming in. That's too hard. Oh. Out way. You good? Oh, that was so hard. You good for <laughs> one? <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, nice man. We could we can shave off some some stuff here when you went down to grab the, the weight. Yeah, I felt like yeah. I wasted a lot of yeah. energy on the way yeah. down. Yep. Let's re let's reset. I got it. So I just finished one session with Deep End Fitness with Don and Prime, he's busy over there. And uh, that was really, really fun. Cause I think like, in addition to just regular fitness where you're training, like you always want to train and see how that applies to life, you know? Yeah. And like, I think my water confidence level went up so much higher cause now I know I can carry something for, what is it, 25 yards? 25 meters. 25 meters. Yeah. I could swim across with one breath, 25 meters. I could hold my breath for a minute. I think those are three things that, um, I've tried holding my breath for like a minute in a really shallow pool, but like when you're down there and you're like looking up, 
and you're like, oh man, there's that much space if I need air. A lot of those things plays mind tricks yeah. on you. So it almost feels like you like can't do it. So it was cool to just break, be able to break through those mental barriers. And also I think training at the bottom of the pool also teaches you to, no matter how determined you are, you still gotta stay like peaceful and calm and it takes both to reach yeah. your destination. You can't force it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I, I really, really enjoyed it and I had, had a lot of fun. Awesome, dude. Good wins today, bro. That's yeah. Solid, bro. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you guys want to learn more about Deep End Fitness, where can they find more information? You can find us on our uh, Instagram at Deep End Fitness uh, or our website, deependfitness.com. Um, and then we also have our Underwater Torpedo League, and um, that's underwater underscore torpedo underscore league. See you guys next time. Peace. Boom. All right, guys, so that concludes our session for today. Uh, so in our closing circle, just gonna go around the circle and tell us a little bit what you learned about yourself today. Uh, for me, I learned that uh, I just did, I was in the open water today, swimming in the water and I got tossed around by a lot of waves, but just remember, it's always you can stay calm even in the most stressful situations. So, kind of brought that to the pool today. I was a little nervous about doing the long breath holds, but really pushed it today and it was awesome seeing you get that far. Keep going it. Awesome, thank you. Uh, for me, um, I think uh, one thing that Prime helped me out with was just like, you know, we're running for the marathon, like just a few months ago. And with the marathon, when you think about how long it is, it's pretty, like a ginormous like, distance. But when you really just put one foot in front of the other, you don't really get uh, intimidated by the, the whole goal. And then I think Prime was telling me, just look at every single black line. So I was just going down and I was like, okay, cool. Just focus on one thing at a time. Because when you look at the wall and you think about how, many, how much oxygen you have left, you start doing these mental calculations. You're yes. like, no way, I'm making it there. And then all Realizers. of that. Realizers. Yeah, and your, your anxiety <laughs> shoots up and then your heart starts pounding so I'm just stay, looking at the floor and then you're able to kind of achieve your goal and stay calm and I think that was something that was uh, really cool that I was able to like apply a strategy in my brain. Yeah I mean biggest thing like we I think we've all done stuff in fitness or whatever in the military in a survival mode and so what we're trying to do here is create processes for all of our swimmers and athletes to where they can do that and it's not they're not just doing it to make it to the wall and the whole time they're like ah they're building that process, like making it to the line and then seeing how that can open up other possibilities for them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good work today, bro. Thank Big you, wins. Thank you. Dude, so dope having you out here. But I myself got thrashed in the water today. It was it was gnarly. <laughs> it shredded us, you know, the, the gnar shredded us. Um, yeah, you know, every time I got thrown around in the, in the waves, it was, it was kind of cool just kind of retrain myself that all the training we did in the pool to really just stay calm and not panic not fret when you're getting tossed around and like it's all pitch black and you're like got to be one with yourself under there you know just trying to fight that fear and just remain calm and ultimately that can be translated into everyday life you know with everything that's going on just staying calm staying as you know calm as you can be when when shit goes south you know so it was a good time out here yeah thanks again for having us dude. or for coming out and checking us out bro and uh, yeah. we'll see you again for holding thank you, thank another you. thing bro thank you. All right, man. Thank you. Killed it, dude. Thank you. Killed it, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. You guys did. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. We sold out of our amphibious shorts in 30 minutes. And it's so awesome that you guys believe in our products as much as we do. And because of that, we want to open up our amphibious shorts for pre-order. So those of you guys who couldn't get what you want can now have a chance to order it in your color and size of choice. However, and this is a big however, because we are operating during unstable times, it can take over three months to manufacture and because once we set the manufacturing process in place there's no turning back all sales are final with that being said we did work out an arrangement with our factories and we can produce a very limited amount so this is on a first come first serve basis until all fabric is used up so if you're cool with this and you would still love to have these shorts we would love to make these shorts for you the pre-order is available now from July 21st at noon until July 23rd at noon. Thank you guys.